Today is my second to last day here at Braintree Printing and I know I'm very sad about it too. I spent the day taking pictures of the people and machines around the shop because I'm going to miss them all so much. If you want to see the pictures, you can check them out on our Tumblr, www.braintreeprinting.tumblr.com. Today I want to talk a little bit more about a tricky concept that we've been covering. It's about how paper has a head. You learned how paper can go head in or head out, but paper doesn't have just a head, it also has toes. That makes sense, it's just like a person. So when something is head to toe like this, the text will read top to bottom, and that's pretty normal. But think about what happens when you double side something. We'll say this is double sided and you flip it over like this, which is pretty normal like in a book or something. Then you want the paper to be head to head, so that this head and this head are corresponding to each other, so that when you flip it from left to right like this, then you'll be able to read it. But sometimes you want to flip it from top to bottom. That way, this double-sided piece of paper that Liz and I made, it'll be head to toe here, and then when you flip it over like this, again it'll be head to toe. If the paper hadn't changed orientation, if I hadn't turned this around, then it would have been upside down. That's an important consideration, and I had never really thought about it. But now that I've done this demonstration, it makes a lot more sense to me, and I hope that it does for you too. But if you'd ever like some more clarification or like to see more, you can leave a comment below this video or you can email us or leave a comment on our Facebook page.